Now, I'm sure you're wondering to yourself, gee, self, how is Microsoft delivering new intelligent cloud native app experiences by harnessing the power of data and AI? Because we all think like that. First of all, great question. And second of all, you're in luck. I'm thrilled to welcome Shuedong Wang, a Microsoft technical fellow and Azure AI's chief technology officer. Shuedong has led Microsoft's speech technology group for nearly three decades and holds over 170 AI related patents. He now leads the team developing Azure Cognitive Services and internally we lovingly call him XD. Thanks for joining us, my friend. Thank you, Seth. Okay, so looking back, what is top of mind for you when it comes to AI at Microsoft? Well, there are really three key things that we have been driving in the last few years. The number one is really AI quality. Without quality, nothing really matters. The second one is really how we can really scale with efficiency and latency performance. Of course, the first two things will lead to happy customers. So how we delight customers driving adoption to amplify their productivity. Those are the three key things that we are focused on. That's awesome. So you mentioned two, quality, quality and scale. How do you measure quality of AI products? That's, that's an interesting question. I'd love your, your thoughts. Um, we have the human parity milestone on a number of research benchmarks in the last few years. So that is really trying to drive the horsepower on the line technology to reach the same level of a human's quality. Let's take the switchboard speech recognition as an example. In the speech recognition research community, they have been working on this task for over 20 years. First funded by the US government. So when two people are having a conversation over the telephone line, we want the computers to transcribe that as accurately as humans. And it was such a hard, difficult task um, 20 years ago, we never imagined we could have reached the human level of performance. For the first time in the history of speech research, Microsoft delivered the human quality on that research benchmark. And then we pushed that technology into Azure Cognitive Services. It's fantastic to see speech recognition today on Azure is really offering um, fantastic uh, performance in transcribing humans' conversation. The latest example is Twitter Spaces. Took a full advantage of Azure Cognitive Services, deployed this for transcribing live conversation on Twitter Spaces. That really improved accessibility of their product features. So in addition to speech recognition, we're making progress on the human parity, and we are the first to reach human parity, not only on speech recognition, but also on machine translation, on the natural language processing, such as super glue, and the most recent one is the image captioning and the image captioning no caps XD. That had nothing to do with my name, it's really the open research challenge to see if computers can transcribe and describe the image as good as any humans. So all those human parity Breakthroughs are, you know, fantastic. The foundational pieces that uh, we got inc incorporated into the production services, the Azure Cognitive Services. If you just, you know, use the API today, you will find amazing quality, not only on speech recognition, but also on machine translation, on image captioning, and the language processing. This is really cool. I mean. It this kind of functionality, what does it mean for folks, for developers in real life to be able to access this kind of functionality in their applications? So any developers, any, anyone in the world can really take a full advantage of this one. I want to cite one great example of the European Union Parliament. There are 24 languages spoken. So in order to really bring the citizen closer in the European Union, European Union Parliament has started this uh, international bidding process. They incorporated 15 systems in the first phase of benchmarking, focus on lively translate the member of the parliament having a debate in German, French, and English. So among 15 international companies, Microsoft was ranked on the top in terms of overall quality in translating those three languages live in the parliament. That speaks on the quality of Azure AI, whether it's speech recognition or translation. 
Now we are working with the other um, companies to try to finalize on the second phase evaluation. They broaden this to 10 languages. So the ability of our AI quality in terms of reaching human priority really truly found its way in live production to delight the customers. Uh, this is this is awesome. When when I was doing research so many years ago in this, I used Europarl data sets and other bi uh, trilingual data sets. This is awesome. Moving forward, what are we investing in now and in the future? So we are investing um, in computer vision. Of course, we're leading on speech services, whether it's a neural text for speech or voice recognition. We are really, really trying to get the computer vision, video processing, understanding, and the language and the high level to understand the reality, understand the object, create a unified platform that can further delight our customers. I think that there will be fantastic high value scenarios such as ambient intelligence, and that will really truly, truly unleash productivity for all of us. So it's not only speech recognition, not only hearing, but also eyes, thinking, and reasoning. That four pillars of cognitive services would be fantastic with uh, improved underlying technology. I, I love the I love the phrase delight customers because you can do that by literally plugging in to all this good research. Just to finish up, we have about a minute. Where can people go to find out more? People can come to Azure.com, really see the Azure cognitive services capability. Also, Azure applied AI services that were designed for a specific set of scenarios. The underlying future is uh, fantastic. We are optimizing multi-model, multi-sensory dimension, just like humans. This is what we call XYZ code. So speech, vision, and uh, multilingual, those are the dimensions we are optimizing to serve our customers and to delight them. Awesome. Well, XD, it's always a privilege sneaking in on meetings and listening to you and then now getting to talk to you. This has been awesome. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure. Thank you so much.